Thanks, Rod. Uh, hi, everyone. Thanks for joining today. Uh, my name is Stuart McLaughlin and uh, Senior Consultant at Marlton and Jacob Associates. So, my background is in uh, land and water science and sustainability. And today, what I'm going to talk about is uh, an overview of water flow uh, in, from its inception. Uh, and then we've got a give a quick demonstration of water flow that we've um, pre recorded before. And so, what is water flow? Well, water flow is a result of a government grant that's aimed to help improve the reliability and transparency of water markets. And what do we mean by that? Well, as you can see here, a healthy water market has many players. And as you see, this ranges from small family farms to corporate, large corporate farms to investors and government bodies. With each of these players all requiring varying levels of market information to help keep them informed and make the right decisions. But where do, where do we get this information from? And so as part of the development of water flow, we estimated that to make an informed uh, market decision, basic research took a couple of hours. And as you can see, there's a huge variety of information out there and at times not easy to find from storage levels uh, to what's happening with the IPT, um, trade limits and, and knowledge of those rules to market prices uh, and current allocation levels. And this information used to take a long time to find and research, which for some market participants, they simply just don't have that time. And so from our research, we found that market participants all shared two core needs. Firstly, uh, that is a centralized data source, which is reliable. So we bring in information from right across the market from a range of sources. It's current. Uh, our data feeds are refreshing every 20 minutes um, in, in, in some cases uh, and, and, and accurate. And, and that data is cleaned uh, and looked over by uh, Mars and Jacobs water experts. And finally, independent. Now, Mars and Jacobs, we do not own, we don't trade water, and as such, we sit independent and can provide a trusted place for market information. And secondly, the information is delivered in a format that suits the situation of many of the participants out there. And so to ensure that we have a centralised data platform, we've received a range of information from right across the water market. And as you can see here, this includes government bodies, water market intermediaries, and it's just a few of them here. So to ensure the information is delivered in a format that suits the situation of market participants, whether you're at home on the, the desktop or you're out and about in the farm or out and about in town with, the, with, your, with your iPhone, Waterflow is developed to run on both mobile and web apps. And in particular, the mobile app is customised to run on low bandwidth. So even in poor mobile coverage areas, you can still get information at your fingertips. And so next, I'm just going to go to the Waterflow registration. So Everyone, when, when we finish this, you can jump on and have a look. So first, we, we navigate to waterflow.io, um, and that's up there, number one. Number two, we click on the register button once we get to the landing page. Following there, we're going to pop up with a couple of questions. Register, get your name, um, the zone in which you're interested in information from, and also this will become more important in, in the demonstration uh, and your password. So once you've registered, you'll be sent an activation email. It's just important to note that uh, when you've got this activation email, just to check your junk folder, because sometimes we see it uh, might go into your junk folder and not into your inbox. So I've got my activation email. I'll click on the activation link and I'll be sent straight to the Waterflow web page. And from here, I can accept the terms and conditions and then we're set to go. And so I think we're just going to play a little pre-recorded live demonstration. I don't know to do one now, but uh, I'll get that playing for you right now. Hi everyone, uh, Stuart McLaughlin here again. Uh, we're just going to go through a live demonstration now of our Waterflow platform. So after the registration, you'll have come to the landing page. Alternatively, waterflow.io, you can see up the top here in the address bar, it'll get you right here. 
So we can see on the left hand side, we've got a range of menu items, and down the bottom here, we've got the zone that we selected. And this will become important later on when we're looking at buying water, or the buy listings, I should say. So let's just start with market overview at the top here. And so what we can see here is the latest information. The overview provides you with really a one-stop shop for all the water information you need. And it, it, it takes that complex market research and it brings it all together in one nice place. So you can see at the top here, we've got the Greater Goulburn, last traded 7th of April. Now I'm recording this at 9am this morning, so by the time uh, you view this, it's, it's, probably going, it's most definitely going to be updated um, if a trade's occurred. And so last trade, 7th of April, $260 a megalitre. Now if we scroll down, uh, we can go down to my zone, SA Murray, last traded 7th of April, $400 per megalitre. So let's just go back up the top here. We've got permanent price as well. We've also got storage and allocations. So in here, uh, we've got a combination of data that's coming from the Bureau of Meteorology. Um, so we can see here, we scroll down, Vic Murray above the choke, storage level, 32.02, so that's a combination of human Dartmouth, the high reliability allocation, 66%, low, zero at this time. Next, we've got connectivity. So here we can see a really great overview of what some of the trade limits are and what the IVTs are doing. And as we know, there's a, there's a lot of information, as I said in my presentation, going and collecting all that information can be hard, but we've put it all here in one nice, easy to see spot, and you see exactly how much is required for it to reopen. Also lastly, we've got news. This is where we've got all our um, market overviews and, and market updates that we, we put out each year. So we're gonna go over here to buy water. Now buy and sell water, both the same function, um, and what I'm gonna do is, we've only got a short time, so I'll just show you the buy water. In here, we've got both temporary and permanent. So we're gonna do a temporary search. We're gonna put in a volume, let's say 10 megalitres. I've got some advanced search options here, so I can set a certain price. I can set a certain source date. Do a forward if I want and when delivered by. But we're just gonna do a 10 megalitre temporary search. Now, by selecting the zone when I started uh, in my registration or by if I want to change it, I can click down here in my, or in my settings. This will give me a customized, um, tailored set of listings that are available just for me. So there's a rules engine in the back of Waterflow and this will, this will provide me with all the options I have to buy water. So we'll start here with SA Murray. We can see that Another overview, $400 for megalitre, what the price has been doing for the last year. We can go up the top here and change that to month or week, depending on the detail you want to see. We've got at a glance storage levels and allocation, market spread, processing time, up to 10 days, total trade costs, and here we've got all the listings. So. We can click on here and we can see Rural Co Current's got best price, $400 a megalitre, 12 listings. And if we want to find out more, we can click on their website down here. Similarly, Elders, we've got six listings. We can click on their website. In the View Brokers here, we've got our full list of our broker directory. And lastly, down the bottom, we've got the last 10 trades that have just occurred. So $400 a megalitre, 50 megalitres. So I'm just going to go back to the search results because what I want to show you is that, well, you've got other options. So we saw there that there were 63 listings and up to 10 business days. If we look here, we've got the Murrumbidgee. So $390 per megalitre. Now the prep tra trade processing time up to 20 days. So we can see different um, options here for us and, and, and make the best choice. Similarly, we've got the current listings, 29 for Wilkes, $390 per megalitre. 
and we can go down here and see the last 10 trades that have occurred. So if I go back, we can go now into the notifications. And so these are really useful. We can, we can set up rules. We can go into add. And I can see that there are price alerts. So when a particular zone gets to a certain price range, or I can set a trade limit alert. So when, an I, when the Ibama choke or the Murrumbidgee opens or the Goulburn, any of those, I can, I can get an alert into my inbox here. Or if I'm on the iOS app or the Android, I'll get a notification pop up on my phone. And they're really, really useful. So you can get up to, to date um, and, and straight to a device that's just in your pocket. Next, we're going to show the Water University. Now, he has a, a, really, a really great range of information. And, and as I said, we've brought together the aim of the water flow is to reduce that time you need to go and search for um, water market information to make an informed decision. And so here you can come in Water Markets 101. You can brush up or learn something new about what's happening in the water market, um, where water can be traded, what's a water right, um, we can go back, we can see Rod talked about in his presentation a couple of different products. We can go in here and read about forwards and leases and their risks. In our uh, partnership with Persa, we're going to be updating and, and adding a whole range of information that's going to be essay specific. Lastly, I'm just going to touch on the reports and outlooks. In the market overview that I went to at the top, we saw that there was temporary, permanent, had storage and allocation uh, and here we've got also a climate outlook so we can come in here and see what the latest three-month outlook is here for across Australia uh, and for the temporary water and this is the same for permanent I can go in here and see a bit more of a range of uh, some historical data so I can go back five years and see for example the SA Murray I can see what's happened over the last five years uh, for the temporary water price. So I'd encourage you um, to, once we finish, go in, log in, or pull out the phone app, download the Android or the uh, iOS. Um, and if there are any questions, our contact details have been provided, um, and we're happy to take a call and run you through anything that you might need. Anyway, thank you. Information will be provided after, and as I said, if there's any questions you have around Logging in and, and utilising water flow, please don't um, hesitate to get in contact with us at uh, Mark and Jacob. We're happy to help with anything you need.